Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. I've been using Garmin Vivo Active HR and Fitbit Alta HR for a while, and today I'll talk about three things you'll love and three things you'll hate about. Garmin Vivo Active HR and Fitbit Alta HR smartwatches. I'll talk about three things you love and hate about Fitbit Alta HR and uh, Vivo Active Garmin Vivo Active HR, or you can say uh, three three differences and similarities between these two smartwatches. So the first thing uh, you love about Garmin is that uh, its battery life. Uh, it has a longer battery life. In general, I would only need to charge uh, my Garmin uh, about once a month or sometimes after three weeks, but never before three weeks, so it has much longer battery life. On the other hand, uh, Fitbit requires charge every week or sometimes it can go as long as 10 days, but uh, never actually a month like Garmin, so Fitbit has disadvantage on this point. The second thing... Uh, you love about Garmin is that this is 100% waterproof and you can uh, keep this uh, in sh while you shower you can uh, wear this uh, swimming so you can basically do anything you want with this this is 100% waterproof so it's uh, a big advantage for Garmin so I'll just put my Garmin in the water okay so still you can uh, see the reading uh, yes and you can keep it you know day after day week after week and still it's gonna be okay because uh, I wore this uh, many times for shower swimming everything and no problem on the other hand uh, Fitbit is not waterproof 100% waterproof uh, it's just you know splash proof for example if you have just like slight little bit of water like this or if you just you know wearing in rain for a few seconds it's okay but you cannot uh, put it in water or you cannot uh, take this to shower or swimming so this is not 100% waterproof so that's a disadvantage for uh, Fitbit uh, the third thing you like about uh, Garmin is that uh, you can uh, turn off the Bluetooth which is a very plus point for me uh, because I don't like to keep my Bluetooth on uh, while I'm wearing something so it has the option or feature where you can uh, turn off uh, the Bluetooth and uh, you can just turn it on whenever you want it but for uh, Fitbit, it doesn't have that option, so the Bluetooth is always on and uh, whenever you're wearing it or just leaving it somewhere, uh, still it will, it will be on. It doesn't come with that option to uh, you know, turn on or off Bluetooth. So in that uh, way, this one has disadvantage. Now, uh, the third thing you'll uh, love about uh, Fitbit is that in terms of app, Fitbit has actually a better app and uh, it's just more user friendly and it gives you all the information at a glance and uh, for example I'll just take you a sample here so it's very easy to use and even uh, in terms of on the watch uh, all the information is right there uh, it's not you know complicated so Fitbit has disadvantage on this, I'm sorry, advantage on this uh, because it's, the app is very user friendly and uh, it's very easy to use. On the other hand, Garmin app is very, it's not user friendly. It doesn't give you a, you know, user friendly inter interface or options. So it's a bit complicated and I don't like using the app at all. So for that reason, uh, whenever I need to look at my stats and everything, I uh, use the Fitbit. So another thing you'll uh, love about uh, Fitbit is that uh, interchangeable uh, bands. So you can just you know remove uh, the Fitbit band, and you can have different color or variation. I have only one set, which is black. But if you want, you can buy uh, blue, green, uh, brown, red, any color you want. So that's a very you know plus point, and. Uh, for Garmin actually uh, you don't have that option so you have to just uh, you know stick to the band, band it comes with uh, let me just put it here 
Okay, so I'll just leave it here for now. So for Garmin, uh, the band is fixed. Uh, you cannot have interchangeable band like Fitbit, so Garmin has a disadvantage in that uh, case. The next thing you love about uh, Fitbit is that uh, Fitbit uh, picks up uh, activities automatically. You don't have to input uh, whenever you're running or swimming or walking uh, manually. So you just you know do whatever you want to do and then the uh, watch does everything. But whenever you're using Garmin, you have to enter the activity manually. And I don't like that section or I don't like that because uh, you know I don't want to enter every time I'm doing something. So Garmin has this disadvantage. That's all I can think of right now. So both has uh, some pluses and minuses uh, based on which one you know uh, is your preferences or uh, what is what are most most important features you're looking for. You have to make your choice whether you want uh, Fitbit or Garmin. But these are uh, these advantages or disadvantages or pluses or minuses I can come up with. So I just wanted to let you know so you can make an informed uh, decision. So that's all for now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Uh, there will be more videos coming up and I'll see you shortly. Thank you.